Hey guys, Rick with Sonus here, back to another video. In this video, we're gonna show you how to master a track so the final result will sound like this. So in this video, we're gonna take you to the master chain. So without all the effects, it sounds like this. So first I have the compression, studio of compression, and a slow attack quite a slow release just to catch peaks of the track so then the second thing we have is this ozone consisting of three elements first we have EQ with a mono to about 130 nothing too crazy going on there then we have the stereo imager which makes it mono so 100 dB makes it more mono at the lows, regular right mids as well. And we open up the highs a little bit. And then the last thing we have is this dynamic EQ. We didn't do anything for the lows. As you can see, we have all the bands split up to 100, 500, 5k and above. So, the low area, we have around 1 dB of compression. A bit heavier compression. In the mix, just to make it pop out a bit more. And then in the highs, we compressed it around 1 dB as well. All together sounding like this. So then the third part of the chain is the another compression. Just a small one, 1 dB of compression, just to catch the peaks that were created. For the previous ozone. Then we add another ozone. With some exciter. Just a small amount of the lows. bit more at the mid lows. Just gonna hear this, makes it a bit more aggressive. And then just a little bit in the highs as well. All together sounding like this. So then the next step in the chain is this compression. Another really small around 1 dB. Just having these stages of compression to not have to limit everything at the end of the chain. Then we cut off some of the real lows on our 20 hertz suit. Those are the frequencies you can't hear in the track. Same for the highest at 18k. And then we have some EQ automation, just a high cut before the drop hits. Some more EQing. Just a little roll off of the highs because I thought there were too many highs in it. And then I have the last thing this invisible limiter. We boosted it around 40 piece just to give the commercial loudness level. We had around 6 RMS. So altogether, I changed some of this. And went out. It's some of this. So in my opinion, it really brings the track to another level. So that's it for the video. If you liked the video, please leave a like. If you want to see more, that subscribe button. And I'll see y'all in the next videos.